Welcome back, WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. We are positively at Costas. The shirt says so. They usually put me against the wall here, but it's holiday time, and it's kind of special. It's my 31st anniversary. I am truly amongst friends. Uh, this is going to be a great, great segment. It's all brought to you by the Maryland Lottery. I'm giving away holiday cash drops. If these guys win, it's not because they're my friends, because there's no fixing. I, I've got tickets here. You John, did you win or $10,000? I, did, did I win didn't here? get done. Oh, you didn't no, get it all. I got to get your, your coin out. John Allen is here from the Stone Horses from uh, Child's Play SR71. What band am I leaving out? Uh, I know I'm leaving one out. <laughs> Charm City Devils. I'm leaving one go. out. Um, and we're going to have Gina Shock from the Go Go's here uh, in about an hour. Uh, this hour, uh, we just did Hammer Jacks for an hour. This is an hour of friendship and a 40 year friendship that I've had with my high school art teacher. Uh, Joyce, then Phelps, now Bucci, always Bucci, and been married to George since beyond words, since you were teaching me uh, Ponchalism and Degas and Monet and all of those things that you taught me in high school to culturally enrich me so that I could go on and do great things in life. But you also were a student of Joyce's, were I, you not? I was. It was uh, maybe art and business, mm -hmm. probably, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Art and business? Yeah. What was that course? How did I miss that in Dundalk High? <laughs> what, was I in, what typewriting class was I in that day? It was like commercial art kind of thing, right? right. We learned right. how to... Commercial yeah. art. Yeah, yeah, John came to me one day and he said, hey, I have a band. I was like, you have a band, okay? And I want to do something special. I want to make this uh, logo. And I was like, okay. He said, but I want to do it backwards and like crayons with children's play because it's called child's play. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, good. Okay. So you were behind the logo. Oh, my God. He made it in class. Yeah. He made it in class. And thank God. I'm, I'm See, I knew this was going to be a good segment. <laughs> now I'm one minute. Give me a beer, uh, Pete. Come on now. Now it's getting good. Now we're getting so, good. Say, fortunate, fortunately, there goes my yoga class tonight. <laughs> <laughs> fortunately, I was a printmaker, and I said, you, you want to do a resist method. So he's like learned how to do the resist method. Yeah. Boom, boom, silk train, and... There's your logo. Yeah. John did it. Very he cool. was yeah, great in class. Well, you were a great art teacher. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to smooch on you and everyone else for all the love. Of so this thing came together really naturally, right? Mm -hmm. Joyce and I have been friends on, on Facebook, and, and I, I love Joyce as a teacher, and I love her as a human, and we've known each other forever. Uh, and before I'm nasty Nestor or any of that, you remember me as the music critic mm -hmm. at, 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 at running around the hallways at Dundalk High. You remember John as rock star in his tuxedo and senior year and all that. And I remember... I remember George from my youth then that you had a band. You were spokespersoning, managing, marketing, hanging up the placards for a band called Beyond Words, right? right. So Correct. pick this story up as to who this guy is because I want to piece all this together that if people are in a car or if you're following along or you just like me and want to hear these old stories, that this is literally going to be narrative from this moment forward about Gina Shock because she's involved in all of this, but the six of us, spouses, John's wife Erin, my wife Jim, we were all out eating Indian food before the plague in 2018, 19, just as friends. I didn't know that, I knew you knew each other, but I didn't know you were a student. Oh, you didn't know? No, I mean, I, and we were all connected. Right. So we all wind up having dinner and Gina Shock's name came up at this. So that's the genesis of how we got to Dundalk. But when I met you, you had a band called Beyond Words. That's right. That's right. Actually, George and I probably co-managed co because he was really good with the... They said, manage the band or be the girlfriend. Don't do both. <laughs> <laughs> here, here we are 40 <laughs> years later. So screw that. <laughs> yeah. So he, basically, he had the band first. And he's got great stories about that, which I'm sure he'll share with you later. But, you know, um, what we did, we divvied up things. When, when we had uh, agents that were men, I took them. When we had agents that were women, George took them. So we figured out how to work the new music seminars in New York and all that stuff. Basically. You were doing all of that when I was a music critic. I remember you, CBGBs, trying to get <laughs> right. sh yes. showcase, right. right? Showcases, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. We so, were, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to, sorry to interrupt. I was no. just going to say the genesis of that was that Charles, the bass player in Scratch and Sniff, and Joyce always kept in touch. So when Gina joined the band, Charles, Charles was said, from Dundalk. Charles from Dundalk High School. High School, also. one of my students as well. Known okay. him since the first grade, mm -hmm. and he said to Joyce, "We have a band." And Joyce came to see the band, and so Joyce, um, let's see. Was that the, the Scratch and Sniff? Here? Scratch and Sniff. Right. Scratch and Sniff was your band with Gina Shock that in the correct. 70s, right? Right. But Joyce was in graduate school and said At to Micah. a to a photographer there, "Hey, if this band will play your show." your graduate show where you do pictures of them. 
and those are the pictures that are in Gina's book. Oh, wow. So that's, wow. that's the genesis of how all that happened. And you played guitar in that band, right? That you, is correct. Because Gina right. was playing drums, right? Yeah. Right. And then eventually with Beyond Words, you wound up playing, getting behind I the did. kid. I did, yeah. For yes. some reason, Gina left, con- left town. <laughs> 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 well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you tell it to Regina later on because right. that's kind of the reason we're bringing everybody right. together. But yeah. right. you came into my life, I guess, in 82, 83, 84. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I started writing at the paper in 84, 85, 86, and then the Evening Sun. Right. Beyond Words was like child's play, different genre. Mm-hmm. I would always say, I almost wore my car's belt for you today because I would sort of put you into <laughs> You were a new wave mm-hmm. True. pop right. rock band in that genre of somewhere between Blondie. You had a female singer. Right. And Lisa is here. We're going to welcome her up. If you're familiar with Milkshake and every kid, and I think here, grew up with Milkshake's mm-hmm. music, including yeah. probably John's kids, right? So there's been 35 years of this, but Beyond Words was your dream to make it big, right? Literally. Yeah, we were a lot like the motels. You yeah. know, had a sax player and keyboard player, guitar, drums, bass, and Lisa. Mm-hmm. So do the harmonies, write the songs. And we were never really a cover band. We did a few here and there. But in general, that was the deal. Try to get a deal. Mm-hmm. Write your material. That's, that was... That sounds familiar that was, to you, right, John? Yeah. Right. That and the was rooms the that you played in Baltimore were like like um, Gerard's and, and mm-hmm. right. different... Right. Uh, um, what a great by, room by that 10. was. Eight by ten. Yeah. Marble the, bar's gone at this point. The marble point? bar. Well, there yeah. was a second marble bar upstairs. Too. Yeah. Okay. The, ga- the oh. galaxy ballroom. The ballroom. Yeah. yeah. Galaxy ballroom. Oh. That I saw you there that yeah. night, and I was like sixteen, mm-hmm. there to review it. Mm-hmm. And Joyce had to like get me get in. Good. You know. I mean, Hammerjacks had a special deal with Louie and Bud. You know, I could yeah. go. Right. But right. that was a bar where I'm like, hey, I'm eighteen. I can't, you know, get in there. But I remember mm-hmm. being at your showcase that night. There was the only night I ever went to the marble yeah. bar. In my life. Uh, one, so, once was enough, right? So. Well, I think it was kind of just gone after that, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It had yeah. the legend of the Talking Heads and Blondie and U2 right. and right. Like all those played. bands. Everybody played there. Played there. Yep. there. And where was that located? That was on Congress Inn. Franklin yeah. Street. Franklin and Mulberry, right? Franklin yeah. and Howard. Oh, Frank, yeah. It's Franklin condos now. now, but it, it mm-hmm. had been the Congress Hotel right. when it started. Right. And it, a lot of the vaudeville stars used to stay in the hotel. And there was actually, apparently, from the Marble Bar, what became the Marble Bar, there was a tunnel that went to the, the Mayfair um, theater yep. that was on Howard. And right. they, that way they could go back and forth right. without going out on the Fred, street. Fred Astaire danced on that bar. Yeah. On the marble, on the marble bar, bar, it was, bar it was white marble. Had a marble See, this bar. is why I bring you guys. I just want to stay the hell out of the way because <laughs> he's got like more ish in his head and this head, his rock star head of history. <laughs> Full and of useless knowledge. Yes, right here. totally. And that's why I wanted to have you around. I mean, and you are you're a life documentarian <laughs> in some ways, right? Yeah, that's a great place. They had a swimming pool as, on, on the way in there. So you you, you saw that? Oh then. yeah. Well, under, so, under, underneath. So yeah. so so Steve Kitches told me this story yeah. years ago. Uh-huh. He, he, so this pulling it back to the Hammerjacks discussion we were having earlier, Steve Kitches was a manager at Hammerjacks. Well, after the bars would close, he was wide awake. You know, at, after 2 a.m., he would go basically uh, like spelunking in these old buildings in Baltimore City. He'd have rope, he'd have flashlights, he had a video <laughs> camera. He told me he got into the basement of the Mayfair mm-hmm. Theater, mm-hmm. and he said there was a there was a pool under there. He found the tunnel, mm-hmm. and he, he said there was a pool under the theater. I'm like, get out of here. I'm like, <laughs> what like are you talking about? the pool on the roof at Dundalk High School. Right, right, exactly. There, right? So apparently <laughs> that theater was built by an ex-Civil uh, War general or colonel as a health spa. So that thing under there was a, was a Turkish pool or something mm-hmm. in the basement of the Mayfair Theater. And then it sounds it, like the Playboy Mansion in Chicago well, or something, right? Literally, it, it failed. So they <laughs> built, they made it a movie theater, uh, or probably a vaudeville theater first, and then you know, movie theater. Right. And yeah. Leslie and Roger lived there, and right. they they owned the Marble Bar, and they oh, yeah. they brought all those bands in. But Leslie's still around today. She has a band. Yeah, Bottle Rockets. Yeah. You have Leslie to, yeah. Rockets, you have to yeah. find yeah. her because mm-hmm. she's history. Oh my God, she's Baltimore history. Well, music brings people together. I mean, it, we're mm-hmm. talking all. We got five, six different kind of genres of music that we've already right. talked about 30 minutes into this thing. Right. But for the Beyond Word story, from where you come from, from your art background right. and music, how did you guys meet? What, what, what is, give me the connection here a to spend story. a life together here because I know of you through you and you know of Gina Shock and it's, it, mm-hmm. it's small to more. It really is, right? Yeah. Um, be, okay, the art connection. It's the art connection. I was teaching at Dundalk and 
I kept saying, Who's are, whose paintings are these incredible paintings of Alaska, gorgeous paintings, these watercolors? And oh, that's Miss Candelis' son. And I knew his mother before I knew him because she was a linguist and substituted language there. Do you remember her? The I remember her as a substitute. Yeah. Wonderful lady. Yeah. And uh, so Thank we you. were good. Mrs. Candelis was your mother? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, the stuff I have, it's 2023 almost before I learn <laughs> things here. I have to do a radio show at Costas and have an anniversary to learn stuff. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. so okay, well, I knew your mother too then. How about that? Yeah, so that's how we kind of like met each other. And then a lot, of my, a lot of my students were his friends, and then we became friends. But we both you know, left there, and we both married other people. And then we came back together and after our divorces, and uh, we, we got in touch again through music this time and we married so yeah well I've only known you two as an item but I, I also the band itself and beyond words and the 45s and all that talk about the band a little bit before I bring Lisa and Michael because I'm I'm gonna give John a and respite to go eat crab cakes because Pete's bringing holiday crab cakes out for everybody so to take home for and, the family and I wanted just one connection here beyond words did play hammerjacks really oh, yeah. yep mm -hmm. we did a video there and yeah, did nice. a video there yeah. too Mm -hmm. And we have some pictures yeah, we'll not, share with not you. Not often. I think just once. Yeah. <laughs> well, the documentary is <laughs> incredible. We would have been drummed out of the community <laughs> otherwise. You know, so. And I think the flyer for it actually said, yeah, it's true. We did all the artwork. Mostly right. George did all the artwork so, for, the, yeah. for the band. Yeah, it's kind of like I was switching sides. <laughs> until, right. we, until we eventually hired somebody to do some of the well, artwork. Did you feel yeah. like that at that time from a music standpoint? In a, in a sense, yeah. I mean, you know, we were just... In a you weren't a Hammerjacks kind of band. Right, right? we were yeah. in a different lane. We were an 8x10 band, Gerard's band. We did a lot of stuff in D.C. Beyond, um, Dine 30 Club, Bayou. The, yeah, the Bayou. The we, Ritz, Bottom Line, CBGBs. Those are all know, New York. Those New York are all the yeah. Yeah. You know, places we played. Yeah. yeah. So China Club. Yeah, it seemed like you, you concentrated from my memory you're telling me about you know, going to New York and mm -hmm. playing up mm -hmm. there quite well, a and bit. And even, yeah, at, at like c colleges like Gallaudet because, yeah. you know, sure. Lisa did all the um, signing. Yeah. signing yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that was that was interesting experience. Lisa should be in on that. But well, yeah. you guys yeah. were a great band, and I want to pay homage to Thank that you. and Milkshake yes. and Love Riot and everything. And more than that, the links. How can I bring Gina Shock out here today and be a part of this for the second time? We tried to get you guys a month and a half ago when you were in like Austin, uh, Austin. Austin, Austin Texas. Uh. And uh, you guys called in on, on the phone and I'm holding the phone up and you had stories. And I'm like, well, let's convene and bring these things together. So the plane's going to take off. John Allen's going to come back a little later on uh, when Gina Shock is here as well. I'm going to, only because I only have so many microphones, I could probably put a fifth microphone in here. Yeah, but we're going to have Michael and Lisa and George from Beyond Words uh, come on, tell some old stories and. And uh, hey, you played Hammerjacks, really? Yep. <laughs> right, we're going to start the party with that. We're going to okay. start with that okay. and the sign language. Uh, thank you. Love you, Joyce. Love All you, right. too. Joyce Bucci, my thank art teacher. Thank you. What's the most significant art thing you ever taught me? You, you have anything that you want to... Well, you just <laughs> mentioned a bunch of stuff. Right? Yeah, what did yeah. you... you were, your class was art appreciation. Just appreciation, yeah. Just to, to open up and look, you know, and, and value it. He was know, like a real a artist, though. He was a real artist. He still so is. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're like you're very artistic. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know you did the Child's Play logo. I, like yeah. this is oh, all yeah. Oh, a, yeah. That's a classic. And uh, wait a minute, one more story before of John. Between I have time. This is what we <laughs> no, do. No, no, we just, tell stories. Just like he would do that in between falling asleep in my class <laughs> because he was he's playing, playing the night before. Night. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and he was the only kid Capricorn? that could get away with it because I knew what he was doing right. and I was a band manager, so hey, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now, right. What happened with me was if I fell asleep in first period, the rest of the day was shot. Oh. I would I would fall asleep in second and third and fourth, like all the way up to lunch. <laughs> like I, I couldn't handle it. But if I made it through first period, and it was really tough because I had wildlife biology first and... Her baker? No, it was no. it was Mr. Hall. Hall, oh, Mr. Hall. <laughs> yeah, he would put on a film. I was done. You know, those yeah. lights would go off, and I'd be like, <laughs> right on the, the desk. The life <laughs> of a fawn begins at conception. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank oh. you, Nestor. Oh. you want to sing you, the Dundalk High uh, fight song or no? I don't know it. You don't know Let Each Fellow join our chorus? Eckhart Farm here. Ready for I, I only know it when we did the. Ever sing in triumph, and we'll always cheer. <laughs> march on Dundalk. March. You don't know that one? No, uh, but I was just by there, and I was looking over, and the you know the stadium is now where the old school was. I was like, oh wow. They did. Yeah, they moved it all around. Oh, right. Man. Right. It looks like a museum, dude. If you go yeah. in there, you'll cry. Yeah. I know I did. Hmm. All right, John Allen's taken out to get some crab cakes. He'll be back a little later on. His band 
is playing uh, Child's Play, the original band that my wife hasn't seen. They're playing MP3 uh, on May 6th. Uh, that's Anna Mary where the post people in. All right, George is going to stay. We're going to get him a beverage. Joyce is going to leave. We're going to bring Lisa and Michael up. You may know them as Milkshake. You may know them as Love Ride. I know them as Beyond Words. We're at Costas. Uh, we are doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. It is all brought to you by our friends at the Maryland Lottery. We're letting ourselves play as well as our friends at Goodwill and Window Nation. Back for more from Dundalk at Costas right after this on Baltimore Positive.